Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video, and yes, I am playing Akshan. Why am I playing Akshan? Well, I don't really know. Uh, but it's because I've not really put much time into this champion. Obviously, he's notoriously been not very good on his launch, but I do think some of that has been lack of understanding more than anything else. But he has been also a little bit weak. Uh, the game itself is like a Diamond 2 game, but then other places of Diamond as well. If you want to pause that and have a look at the ratings, feel free. But yeah, we're playing Akshan. Um, I have seen clips of this champion doing good things. We're against A LeBlanc. This is actually, if you wanted to go off stats, a good matchup for Akshan. Does that mean we're going to do well? Not necessarily. <laughs> we also are a triple AD carry comp. Quinn, Akshan, Trist. The reason why also, I was going to play like LeBlanc. Uh, I was actually going to play Ari. Uh, as a mage, like a typical mage. I like Ari, my win rate's good on her. And basically go to the question, because Ari's not bad into LeBlanc. And basically just go, can you play Ari right now? But then the Shaco threw me a curveball and went, I can AP. I don't like AP Shaco, as you all know. But it does mean we have AP damage that allows me to play Akshan. That was the idea. Also, yeah, we have four Ignites. Wow. Well, let's do this, I guess. Uh, wits end first item. Naturally. AP, AP, AP. AP. Four APs. So they're nearly full AP. They have a Lucian who also arguably falls off. So they are, in essence, full AP. So that's weird. It's kind of as funny as it sounds. Well, good trade for me. Uh, nearly a full AD team. Like, we have a Shaco, so he's not going to do crazy AP damage. And they're nearly a full AP team. Well, Lucian does do good AD damage, but it also falls off. Alright, so the biggest thing this game is... Will I be able, this game, to use the E efficiently? It's the one mechanic that, for me, on this champion feels pretty bad. Okay, I didn't muck it up straight away. Hey, he did it. Hey, we're cool. What is Akshan's actual win rate right now? Can someone look it up? What's his overall win rate? Because obviously it started at 30%. That could go... Uh... Huh! 45... 46. So he has a 46% win rate. Obviously he got buffed. How many times did he get buffed? Two or three. It was two or three times he got buffed. Oh, he's hacking. I don't know why LeBlanc did that, to be honest. She kind of did that to herself. Uh... Very nice. Oh, God. Go on, Shaco. Can he do anything there? Wait, you're... No, no, why'd you go for a Vlad? He's got W. Wrong target to go for completely. It's important to stride into the wheel, so the oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. The box, the box, the box, the box. Ah! <laughs> I saw it happening. The box. What's in the box? Well played by Queen. Yeah, to be fair. Good survival and everything. everything happens for a reason. Some things need to be sorted out. It is a Quinn main, so... Of anybody to make Quinn work would be someone that actually plays Quinn. Oh, I missed. Yeah, we got a flash. Sweet! Bot lane's winning, mid lane's... Well, bot lane's winning, kind of. They might actually get a double kill, but they've been losing quite badly on farm. Oh, no. I'm dead. No, I forgot she had ignite. I'm so bad. Why so much hate for Quinn? Well, it's not hate. Quinn's just terrible. 
Quinn is a ch Oh wait, I'm building the wrong thing. I'm building the wrong thing. I'm building the one... Have I mucked up already? Oh, I haven't. Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, Quinn is a champion without a role. I I've always st told the story if you don't know how Quinn was developed. Um, Quinn was developed... Again, I can't remember which way around it is. I think Quinn was developed as an AD carry. And with only a few weeks to go, a, a someone high up at Riot popped their head in, as the story goes, to the development team that was doing Quinn. And went like, yo, yeah, you know that new AD carry you're making? And it's like, yep. Yeah, we wanted to be an assassin. Excuse me? And that's basically what happened. Um, so literally with only a few weeks of development to go, they had to like randomly change the champion. I don't know why, but yeah. So Quinn doesn't really have a role like her role is cheese picking you, you're never gonna have a balanced comp if you've got quinn you know she's an ad carry top that's the only role that she can arguably do semi okay in because she's cheese picking against a lot of the time melee champions or stuff is she a bad champ she's not great so the farm in bot lane is atrocious I don't know if that's because they're getting just harassed like crazy, or can the Tristana just not farm at all? Yeah, again, if you enjoy playing Quinn, go for it, but yeah, Quinn ain't great. I would say on average, Quinn is probably going to hurt your climb if you have aspirations on being high rating. I couldn't move. Ah, I couldn't move. Damn it. Shame, like, Nidalee had to be there right then. Really? That timing. Because I, I would reckon, like, th again, this is a Quinn main, right? I'd make, reckon a Quinn main could probably get, again, Diamond is probably around the cap, I would say, for a Quinn. And then the higher in Diamond you're going to get, you're going to really struggle. Because then players just know more and more how to beat it and what to do. Yeah, the top CS is going well and the bottom CS is going bad. Mid lane, I'm slightly ahead somehow. I guess, again, LeBlanc is notoriously not a great farming champion herself. On most people. So does the range of the Q extend if he kills targets? With each enemy hit? Oh, it's enemy hit. Okay. Oh. They did dragon. That hit the LeBlanc. Jeez, that range. Are they losing a 2v3? Yep. Yep. At least they didn't die, but my bot lane did just lose a 2v3. Scared the living hell out of me then. I feel like Nidley's gonna be around. Curse this nagging conscience of mine. dead anyway. Damn it. The timing just sucks for me at the moment. To be honest, I'm not too surprised I'm struggling versus a LeBlanc of all things, but... Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Okay, someone in Twitch chat just actually reminded me, and this is where, again, I'm learning 
and not going to be playing perfect. Apparently, the meta thing on Akshan is actually maxing E. Huh. I did hear about that, and I kind of forgot. AP Shaco. No, I'm, I'm aware it's AP Shaco. He's doing AP Shaco because it kind of allows me to play mid Akshan, basically. Could go well. People without grappling hooks. What are they thinking? It's not too late to turn around. Why are you spam pinging me? What else am I gonna do, you pleb? Yes, spam ping him. She flashed away. You're welcome. Lock them before she can go invisible with a passive. They see me, it is too late for forgiveness. So wait, my bot lane's rage t rage bot, I guess. And I know Lucian is arguably obviously more early game than a Trist, but Trist is also weirdly again, Trist is that weird champion that she's both early game and late game. So she shouldn't be losing that badly. Yeah, I may as well stay. 200 gold. Or well, 100 gold, actually. The benefit is bot lane's doing well and Lucian's going to fall off, so... Again, good trade. Oh, they want they they beat him though. She ignited me as well, but that's not bad. Trading. I have no idea who outscales each other. I pres would an action? Oh, I don't know. Would an action outscale a LeBlanc? LeBlanc is not known to scale very well, but I action's terrible with scaling, so I, I don't know who outscales who. Maybe they're about the same. I don't know. <sighs> Dragon, by the way. We kind of want that. We really don't want to give that away, but I think we are. Mm. Just check the Quinn's profile. The Quinn is the 676th best Quinn in the world out of probably about 660, 76 Quinns that play Quinn. <laughs> Sorry, that was just an easy joke. Not bad damage. That Zyra was terrible. Have you no shame? Not done any of the roaming revive thing, but I think that actually seems to be a little bit of a theme for Akshan. Is he actually has a hard time doing the revive?
I want him! Did I get the revive of? Shut down. They already revived. I got the extra gold though, right? Did I get more money? How much more money do you get? A hundred. I got money. Look there at the bottom. Total gold earned a hundred. I just made a hundred extra gold for that kill. I don't know if that was worth, to be honest, but we did it. Probably shouldn't have done that, but we did it. All right, Kraken Slayer is what we're going for. Money's money. Hey, Lola. It does feel like we've got maybe more squad. They got a Vlad as well. Vlad scales really well. Am I having fun? He is quite fun. And again, is he a cheese pick? The answer is no. Because, like, again, the definition of cheese pick, at least for me, is is it designed to go where you're playing it? This guy is designed to be a mid laner, you know? So, like, it's technically not a cheese pick. Like, look at that damage. That ain't bad. Like, honestly, like, look, I'm playing this. I don't feel like I'm a detriment to my team at the moment. And that's, I think, Launch Akshan did. He felt like if you're picking him, you're basically, in essence, trolling. With the buffs and more understanding of the champion, no, you're not actually like kind of trolling on the, this champ at the moment. I actually could potentially see this champion getting nerfs, as funny as that sounds. Is he hard to play? Nah, it's an AD carry. I, again, this is where I do differ from opinion, as we all differ, have different opinions. I actually think uh, AD carries are in some of the easiest to play champions in the game of League. But there's a lot of people, whoa, that went far. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, they're the hardest group. I'm like, H how? The hardest thing of an AD carry is positioning. That's it. That's not that hard. Like, I don't know. To me, at least. Again, everyone finds things... Why am I so slow? What's happened? Why am I so slow? That felt really slow. Yeah, if you're bad at positioning, then AD carry is going to be really bad for you, but... Huh. Not dead, but she's actually nearly dead. Not bad damage. That was close. Woo! Alright, what next? Collector. We're quite fed. That was, are you, is anybody watch Hunchback of Notre Dame in the film when the guy is, I'm free, I'm free, and then every single time he falls back in like a prison. That's what I thought was about to happen. 
Someday I'm going to learn its secrets. I thought I was going to be like, I'm alive, and then just die. I didn't want that to happen. His damage doesn't feel bad, but like, genuinely. I know I'm quite fed this game, but so far I don't actually feel bad. We do Baron incredibly quick, by the way. Three. More of Malmortius. God, you see some odd things in EU Northeast. Some very, very odd things. I don't think I've ever seen a Tristana buy a more Malmortius a second item. You might be scared of thingy. I mean, yeah, but I wouldn't sacrifice your carry potential as a Trist. You're not going to be crazy damagey with that. Get a, a Wit's End is probably better than a Maul. Yeah, I've not revived one person yet. Lucian should be dead. Okay. Huzzy Cannon. So that was, like I said earlier, like, the enemy team was doing pretty bad. The only one that was seeming to do okay was Lucian. And, uh, yeah, you can sense I wasn't exactly worried. Lucian is getting a change soon, though. I revive you, buddy! You're back! He did it! It was nothing. You little KSA! So low. But this is, again, this is my best game of Akshan. It, again, it's, I haven't played him that much, but like, it does show, because I think there'll be some people that still hold the opinion, oh, he's really trash, he's terrible. Like, he's better. Again, that's what happens when a champion gets buffed three times after being launched. It, it does get actually a lot better. Funny, that. I will avenge you! Do, do, do. So this is the trail. Where's the loot? Because uh, remember, I'm perma stealth right now. I want to kill the Lucian. <laughs> they came at the same time from either side. No! That was like the worst situation possible. If they came from the same side, I could have focused one and it probably would have been better, but they came from different sides. Ah! Does Akshan still fall off? Yes, he should fall off. That's kind of the whole point. He literally just got killed by Shaco Box. Watch. 
<laughs> oh my god, he just died. Just the Shaco boxes that Vladimir died. He tried to make his way behind them and then escaped and there was one here. Oh, that's hilarious. Hmm. Oh god. Poor Vlad. Well, again, by comp, it's a bit of an odd comp, but it also does show bad comps. Like, this is a bad comp. There is no comp to this. We have three AD carriers on the same team, for God's sake. But it does show solo queue is solo queue. Even that we're in diamond... There's diamond... The little block was diamond two against me, so, like, she's diamond two. So, like, you can make it work. But I would say a lot of the time in pretty bad team comps, you have to... Most of the time, you have to snowball to make up for the fact that your comp's not very good. Stealth time. So here's again Lucian. He is one of the scoundrel peoples. Oh, you can do it without me. Oh my god, I can clean. Ah, I got two. I didn't expect them to be that close! <laughs> what a fiesta. I'm having, I am having fun, by the way. Yeah, the stealth is permanent as long as you stay near a structure. Uh-oh. So you just use your mobility? Wow, he's not going for that. <sighs> Isn't your top side not extremely dependent on snowballing? Oh yeah, Quinn has to snowball, really, to do anything in a game of League. Again, that she Le Quinn is just a cheese pick as her main role. If she doesn't get ahead of whatever is in top lane, it's ninety percent of the time going to outscale it, out outscale a Quinn. Again, a Vlad will outscale a Quinn. It's just can we end the game in time? And the answer in this game is probably. But it's not a hundred percent that we are. We could still lose this game. The, the benefit we also have in this game is that the AD carries a Lucian, so he also doesn't really scale. So that is quite good for us. If they had, like, a late game, if they had the Tristan instead of us and we had a Lucian, I'd probably be a bit worried. But, yeah. Dink. I think I got used to the E this game. So that was like my goal. And I think we've got used to it. I've not really mucked it up too bad. The only way I've mucked it up is if I've aimed it on like a bit of terrain, terrain that's made it go weird. But other than that, we've done alright with it. I mucked up my stealth. Feels bad. And you're back. That's so broken. Like, ge genuinely, that's why this champion is always going to be a nightmare to balance. The fact that I just brung two people back when they had lo long death timers at half an hour in the game is just mad. Again, I do a lot of damage this game just because we're fed. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was getting hit by Zyra that whole time. My bad. That was tunnel vision. I need, again, my ult hit the inhib, by the way. I have seen a funny game of Akshan that it was a close game. Akshan aimed for an enemy and they hid behind the Nexus and it just killed the Nexus and the game was over. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, Quinn. Oh! Nice. Oh, Quinn. That champion. Again, if you like playing it, all power to you, but that champion is, um... Yeah. A bit rough. Your god. 
Do you think they're doing it? There's a very small chance. Zyra, okay, Zyra's there. With Zyra plants in that, they wouldn't actually lose that much health while doing it, I would say. Oh, they're bot lane. Can you tank it, bud? Thank you. There's three bot- Didley's bot lane! Excuse me? Why are you all bot? That's very weird. I launched that early because I think Trist might have died. Again, I would have brung her back straight away, but it's better just not let her die. Wait, what? Oh my god, he's got Spellbook on Blitzcrank. I was like, why is he ghosted? I was very confused. Oh my god, that spear. See, this is the late game scaling element that I've spoken about. We are starting to fall off. You can you can see it. We're not winning these fights cleanly at all. We are starting to fall off. I once knew someone who followed the rules. She's dead. Mm-hmm. Brought Quinn back. Okay. That's good. By the light. Yada, yada, yada. Didn't I ulted by the way, and because it actually didn't go off, look, the cost got refunded. I've got ult back up in now. That slow item is so annoying. Can you do damage, bud? Now your time was to... You don't go in after I die. You go in while he's ulting me. Because then he can't do both. Oh. Again, with this build... Th th well, it seems that item... Everything about Lucian in mid to late game now... Is all about his ultimate. All about his ult. And it actually doesn't seem that bad. Obviously, I feel like I am falling off quite hard now. Ooh. And I don't know well how how well does AP Shaco scale? Like I was say, a bit weird that we don't have five people bot lane. We have two in Hibs open, and I don't know what these three teammates are doing. It's a little bit weird. Um, hey Jammer, uh, hello Huz. Hope you're doing Mage or Bruiser. What? I like it's weird that we weren't just all bot lane. Again, there's quite basic stuff. You got two inhibs open. Go to the one that isn't. You hope you're doing good, my bad. Oh. Um, it's takedown or assist, I think. I think. Well, I don't know. If Action gets an assist, does he revive somebody? Maybe. It kind of feels like of that mechanic. It should be only kills, personally. But it might be both. Like, just come bot lane, guys. Holy moly. Don't risk anything in mid. There's a very real possibility that we lose this game. Oops. I didn't stay next to the wall. Trist, you're inting, dude. What on earth? This Tristana is really bad. We're going to lose this game. I, I literally think we're going to lose this game. 
What a shocking Tristana. Her build is literally garbage. Look at her build. She's only built magic resist. What? It's not that that's killing you. Jesus. This Trist is... Um, I'm guessing she's not like auto-filled. She is. She's a mid lane player. Cat oh, oh, she's a cat win main. Okay, it makes a bit more sense. But still, it doesn't make sense. A diamond player of anything should know this is terrible. Like, look at it. She has no damage potential. She's building tank Tristana. That's a, the one thing I will say about EU West compared to EU, EU um, sorry EU Northeast compared to EU West that you do see way more in EU Northeast is weird things like that. You don't see things like this in the US. You just you just don't. It's weird. And you see it fairly regularly on this server. She did it again. God, this Tristana is shocking. Yeah, I honestly think we're going to lose this game. And like comp, obviously, as I said, our comp is pretty bad. And it was a bit of a ticking time bomb to win. But I do, I would say comp hasn't exactly lost us this game. I would say the Tristana has lost us this game. No, you're not going to get there in time, bud. It's dead. I just can't believe... I've never seen that before. If we grouped up and got the Lucy and we win the game, it's the one champion that's holding us. And we have a Quinn as well. Mm. I'm dead. Game over. I can't carry this game as an action. That's the negative of the champ. I've fallen off. Normally, a Tristana late game would carry, but with this item build, she literally does no damage. It's the weirdest build I think I've ever seen on a Tristana. What was that ult? What? Why did she ult them away? They were under tower of Nexus. Oh my god, this player. Yeah, Quinn's dead. She got the inhib, which is quite... Oh, is she not dead? She has to be dead. Okay. I'm just going to ping her items and be like, you know, she needs damage. What she doesn't understand is she's not surviving anyway, but she's not doing any damage. So she's not actually really doing anything. 
Yeah, this is... Well, again, Muir Man is normally part of this build for late-game scaling Lucian um, for his ultimate, but he's not done the Muir Man apart. Uh, Button with 3TS, thank you so much, dude. Or 3Ts. Uh, five months says, hey, Huzzy, hope you're doing well. Yesterday, me and my friend were tour with a, tour a touring car event in Edinburgh with VIP tickets and fell in love with the... Uh, with it. Fun weekend. Awesome. Trist is dead again. Yeah, this is one of the worst players I've seen for a while. Oh, he's got a GA. I can't even get him. Yeah, so we are going to end up losing this game as crazy as it is. You know, we built such a crazy lead, but... Yeah. GG. Yeah, I got one shot. Yeah, well, again, we tried. I'm going to upload it because uh, it does show a good example of a game. But yes, our comp was pretty bad, which is going to be a, a factor to why we lost the game. But I think most of us could agree the reason that we ended up losing this game was the trust. Like, we had no power with a Tristana. Like, we needed to keep pushing and, like, end the game. And then Tristana kept, one, her build. And secondly, if you notice, in every single fight, she jumped into the middle of the fight. Very odd. I, I again, it's. It, I was. I would say it's rare to find a player like that, but that's the weird thing. It weirdly isn't. Like, yes, maybe that was on the worst end of players I've seen recently, but these players, are, they they are around, even in Diamond. It's weird. Uh, I'm gonna give it to the Shaco. I actually think he played quite well. But there we go. Uh, Twenty twelve eleven minus fifteen. Oh, I got recognised. Fair dues. And then, yeah, we did the most damage in the game. Literally. Tristana did 24,000 as a late game Tristana. Late game AD carry. Jeez. So, yeah, we, we should have won that game, but Tristana built wrong and played wrong. She kept jumping literally into the middle of the fight. But I'm very happy with how we played. So, again, it is a, it's, it's a good game of Akshan that I'm showing, but in the same regard, it also highlights the negative of Akshan is... It's very hard for him to actually carry because, again, his scaling isn't fantastic. So, yeah. Unfortunately, we lost. Again, the Shaco played quite well for what we could do. It was just, again, we do have a Quinn that's a bit eh, but it was more just the Trist. It's unfortunate. But that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Again, making our way to Master. I think it's pretty easily doable on this server, so that should be fun. And Akshan, again, fun to play, and I do expect this champion to probably get nerfs. So if you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.